Some firms show wiring and some don't. Even if you don't, this video is a good way to see your systems in action. Because of the fact that Revit knows you have a circuit in place, it knows how to automatically draw in your wiring. We're going to add wiring two ways. One will automatically create wiring, and the second way is we'll draw some wires in point by point. I'm going to jump into Revit. In the project browser under electrical, let's go down to power, floor plans. Let's double click on level one and make sure we're in the same plan. We'll zoom into this area and check it out. It's showing lighting. We don't want to see that. So type VG for visibility graphics. Scroll down to lighting fixtures and uncheck those. Click apply. Click OK. Now remember when we circuited up this room, if you hover over one of your receptacles and hit your tab key, notice that it will temporarily sketch in wiring. If you pick this receptacle, notice that it's kind of staying there when you pull your cursor off of it. Now we can either draw arc type wiring or we can draw filleted wiring. So I'm gonna click on this arc wiring. It's gonna add in my wires. Kinda of cool, huh? We can come over to this room. We can hit tab, pick, add the wiring. Notice that it's gonna home run this one. So I can kind of move that out of the way, pull it in. I can grab my little grip here, pull it over. Of course, we'll move our storage tag out of the way a little bit. Good. Now what we can do is let's go up to ceiling plans level one under lighting. This time I want to draw in my wire. So let's go to systems. Let's go to wire. Now notice that when we hover over this light, we're going to get some points that we can snap to. I'm going to grab it right on the end point here in the middle. I'm going to draw a small arc point there and I'm going to pick a point here. And what's going to happen is it's going to actually draw in my arc. I can draw another one. I can right click on that arc. I can create similar. Now if I use this midpoint, pick a point here, and if I don't hit another one, it assumes that this is going to be a home run. Perfect. Let's take a look at some of our wire settings. On the systems tab under electrical, let's click on our electrical settings button right here. Let's go down to wiring. I don't like to show tick marks, so instead of always, I'm going to show never. Let's click OK. Gets rid of those tick marks. Now let's label our wire. So let's click on Tag by Category right here on the Quick Access Toolbar. Now if we hover over that home run, it's going to give us our circuit number, but that's not descriptive enough. Select your tag. Click Edit Family. Select where it says circuits here. Click edit label. Circuits is great, but I want panel as well. So I'm going to click panel. I'm going to add panel. I want to move panel up. And for my suffix, I want a comma. Click OK. Let's load into project. Let's overwrite the existing version. Now we know that it's on panel LP1-1. Speaking of panel LP1, let's go down to our panels. Let's go back down to our level one power plan. Let's click tag by category again on the quick access toolbar. Notice it says PP1. Instead of attached end, I want to click on free end. Maybe I'll pick a point here, pick a point here, and come over like that. Do the same for LP1. Notice that it's going to line them up. Perfect. I like to have little arrowheads on these though. So select either one of these panel tags. Click Edit Type. Now for the leader arrowhead, let's go to Arrow Filled 15 degrees. Because this is a type property, it's going to update them both. Click Apply. Click OK. Hit Escape a few times. There we have it. So there you go. That's how you annotate and wire up a plan.